Hello there, it's your Wisconsin wine guy. I am back again with another wine review. And let me tell you how this goes for those who are due. These are wines that you can find on the shelves of your everyday liquor store, grocery store, and some wine shop shelves. I go through, make some selections, then come and give you my opinion. Shoot this video like I am now. Give you my opinion on what I thought about the wine in a very simple system. Thumbs up, I highly recommend. Three quarters, you know, I would drink that wine, you know, and uh, I maybe keep a few on hand. Halfway, not so much for me. You give it a taste, let us all know what you think, and thumbs down, not a winner. You know, so now today it's still summer, the sun is shining out, but here's a wine that not only works in the summertime, but it works during the fall and maybe in the winter if you like drinking roses in the wintertime. So I've been on this Villa Wolf kick all right i'm riding the villa wolf jock all right so i did the gavrit stramina i did the pinot blanc and now i'm going to do for you the pinot noir and they have quite a few of the varietals in their lineup so i'm going to do the pinot noir rosé this is a 2019 pinot noir rosé from villa wolf i mean the bottle is kind of frosty because i just pulled it out of the refrigerator screw cap you know how I feel about those. Okay, screw cap alert. If the wine is bad, that means it went into the bottle that way. I don't stand on ceremony. Give me a screw cap, synthetic, true cork. As long as the wine is good, that's all that matters to me. And you can even see through the frost of the bottle that this is a nice salmon colored wine. How beautiful is that? So this is from the Falls region. As with most of your other wines, I can just smell smell that just pouring in the glass. I can smell that. But if you're a rosé drinker, you definitely enjoy this. I mean, Thanksgiving is coming up. Who said you can't drink rosé on Thanksgiving? Oh, wow. I mean, just right here. I mean, to me, when a wine can just, the, the aromas can just hit your nose from far away, that's one step in a good direction. Mm. Ah, nice. Strawberry, sort of cherry. And this is all fresh, nothing dry, nothing muted, just all fresh smelling. But I'm gonna go with cherry and strawberry on the nose for this. So cherries in the background, strawberries in the foreground, right there. You know, I don't know if you ever just like crush some cherries and smell the juice, or, or crush crush uh, uh, strawberries and smell the juice. I mean. When you speak about these things, that, that's what you're thinking of, you know. But you have to do it and put it in your memory. Mm, but you look at that color, even in the glass. It's just a beautiful color. This is nicely chill, nice and frosty. It's going to be very interesting. Wow. So let's first go up the rinse. You know, when I do the rinse, it's a two-step process. Rinse, then taste. I'm looking for the acidity. The wine must, must, must be alive and it must be lively so let's give it a rinse that's my rinse test number one pass wow nice acidity mouth is watering but it's not again it's not killer it's just very well Blended in together, but but nice, you know. It it kind of like like goes pow pow kicks out that flavor of the wine. So let's give it a taste and see if my impression is going to be the same. Okay, smooth. Okay, subdued. Has a Subtle, almost like prickly feel on the palate. You know, I don't want to say sparkling or bubbles. It's not that, but just just a nice prickly feel on the palate. But mellow. I mean, how many wines can you drink and you say, "Wow, oh, this wine is so mellow." Remember, I started this, this video like, "Wow," and I'm just like, "Woo!" I'm like zen on this. Let me give it another taste. It just like toned me down a little bit. Okay, so there's a subtle kick back or a back end, almost like a sweetness. So it, it goes in with a nice fruitiness, prickly on the tongue, 
soft tannins, but then there's that, it's like a kiss, a kiss of sweetness, you know, to just bring back that fruit. So it goes in and just boom, then the fruit comes back. But the finish itself is going to be, the finish itself is going to be short lived. Okay, I mean, you could, there's not a lot of extraction going on here. It's just like, just simple and clean. So the finish is going to be short lived. A dry finish, but again, that, that, that subtle, that kiss of sweetness, I like saying that kiss of sweetness comes back, you know, and just bring the fruit back for short lived, very, very delicate. You must, if you're going to have this with food, have this with something that's not going to be crazy flavor. We're talking about delicate, delicate flavor here. Let's make this a perfect partner for sitting out on the patio or hanging out at the beach or just sitting in your home catching a breeze with the sun shining. This is that wine. You know, this is a conversation wine. This is that wine. You know, so you must come to wine. I gotta give one more taste. It's gonna give this three quarters. Okay, I'm going three quarters on this one. Again, I'm not gonna say it's, it's not gonna just, just go crazy, knock it out of the box, but three quarters is pretty good. I would buy this. I would go to the store and I would buy this just like I did. I would buy this, I would drink it, you know, it's mellowing, okay? I am now zen with my Wolf Blast Pinot Noir 2019 Rosé. It's your Wisconsin wine, guys. Saying as always, let your palate be the guy of selecting your next wine. Remember, three quarters. See you next time. Bye.